uh, okay, the first uh, function, the basic function of this software is the uh, mode manager, uh, the modes option here. Uh, for example, we can add a new mode and we can add backup of different versions of a mode. Uh, first, let me show the uh, mode folder. Okay. Uh, this is a workspace folder. Uh, the temp folder is for the intermediate results. So you don't have to know about that. Uh, the core folder, don't touch this folder. It stores all the templates of, uh, when you want to create a mode or create a map. Uh, the exports uh, will be the files generated if you want to export your mode or your map or other resources. And those are all the maps. Oh, let me delete this. Uh, yes, and those are all the modes. Currently, we don't have any. So let's add a new mode. For example, its name could be Age, Age of Civilization 2 or Age of History 2. Okay. And you can just name any version, like base or uh, version 0 0.1. Zero. Okay. Uh, then it will pop up a progress bar and uh, we'll just wait for it. The, uh, as I've said, the progress bar does not accurately reflect the real progress. It's just, uh, just an increasing number that indicating the software is still running. Okay, it said uh, it's pop up a window says success. So we have created a new mode with a new version, and we can see that uh, the mode is chosen and the version is chosen. Now we can open the current mode version in folder. Uh, we can see this is a uh, directly playable game that is created from the template. Uh, okay, and uh, whenever you want to change something to be safe, you can add version backup. This will copy the current uh, mode into a backup, a backup mode. Uh, okay, it says it's done. And now we have another version, which is a random string and ends with an underline. All the versions that ends with an underline is uh, treated as a backup. Uh, so if you want to use clear all backups of the mode, it will clear all the uh, versions that uh, with an, an underline in the back of its name. Uh, and if you don't want, to, uh, you want to make it a formal version, you can rename it. Uh, for example, 0.1.1. Okay, we have renamed the version. Uh, and Yes, we can also delete uh, the version or delete the whole mode. Okay, and that's the uh, mode manager part. And if you want to uh, export the mode, you can uh, choose between export the full game or export the game resources. Uh, and the open exports in folder opens the workspace exports folder. Uh, and that's uh, where the resources will be uh, located in. Uh, for example, uh, when we press export game resources, uh, we are e exporting the resources of the current uh, selected mode and the selected version. Uh, we extract them into a ZIP file. Uh, okay, it's done. And uh, let's take a look at the extracted resources. Uh, it's not the full game, not the full mode. Uh, it's all the resources that uh, you will be used in the mode. Uh, the resources can be uh, moved to Android. Uh, if you have an Android APK file, you can find uh, inside the APK file, there's a assets folder and you move everything in this zip uh, into the assets folder and then uh, the uh, APK will work on Android. Yes. Okay, and uh, that's basically all about the mode manager. And thank you.